everyone, it's your girl Melanie. And this week I'm gonna be reviewing this brand new product. This is the Hoover Dual Spin Pet Carpet Cleaner. And I was given this product complimentary to review, so I did not pay for this product. However, I am not getting paid to make this video, and I'm gonna show you my honest opinion of the Hoover Dual Spin Pet Carpet Cleaner. I have my little lovable dog, Archie, here, and oh, who's this? And this is Jake. These dogs are going next because I'm on the floor right now and I'm not paying them any attention. I'm gonna do a little unboxing and I'm gonna put it together for you. So first off, you have a little instruction manual here. You have a coupon for 25% off your solutions. And then they give you this whole accessory kit. And unfortunately, there is no diagram for these parts. So I actually had to look it up and I'm still not sure what each of them are, but let's go through them together. This is your accessory hose. This is your pet turbo tool. It has little rubber prongs on it so you can really get in those dirty set in areas. This is your crevice tool. This has soft bristles on it so that you can scrub in corners and tight spaces. And they also give you this additional little brush then I'm not really sure where it goes. They also give you this bottle of deep clean and neutralized solution to get you started. And they gave us this little hook, which I'm not really sure what it does, but I'm assuming this is what you use to store your accessories. And then you have your water tank here. This is where you fill your water. The instructions to clean the dirty water tank are not very clear, but when you're ready to clean your dirty water tank, you're going to flip this open, lift it up, and here's your little filter basket which catches all the debris. Put it back, make sure this little black thing slides, slides into that first before you close it up. And then you're going to flip this up and lock it into place. While I have this off, let me show you the brush. So one of the special features is that it actually has two brush rollers in it. It's 11 amps and allergen filtration system too. To put this cover back on, you're gonna wanna tilt the machine back a little bit. Make sure these little plastic pieces here line up with the item. There are these little hooks in here. Press them down until they snap back into place. To put the tank back, you're going to want to make sure everything's tightly sealed and just slip it into place. This handle has two different ends. One end has this little plastic bouncy piece in it and the other end is empty. We're going to want to insert the handle on top of this little plastic piece. Make sure you line everything up properly. Put that in until it snaps. Next, we're gonna want to insert this into the base. This is a lot of work. Now we're gonna fill our water tank. First, we unscrew the top, and then we're gonna add warm water until it reaches the fill line. This tank holds one gallon of water. Next, it says to add three ounces of solution. I don't freaking know what three ounces is. I have a little measuring cup. Well, it's essentially half this bottle. Now I'm gonna just pour it into the tank. Put the cap back on. Now I'm just gonna align the tank with the base. Now we're ready to clean some floors. Fortunately, my doggies don't make a lot of accidents in the house. However, I'd like to introduce you to our friend, Spot. Hello! Spot is a gift that was bestowed upon us by the former owner. We didn't even see Spot until a couple of years after we lived in this house, and all of a sudden, it came up to the surface. And Spot has brought with him a few friends. So let's see how this Hoover carpet cleaner will work on this disgusting mess. First, we're gonna step on the brake pedal so that the item can lay down. And you're gonna want to squeeze the trigger while you're running the machine up and down your carpet. When you release it, it will stop releasing water. Now to turn on the machine, you're gonna step on the red button.
Well, unfortunately, this stain is super stubborn. So I'm going to try this handheld accessory instead. This attachment hose has two different ends on it. This end with the prong on it is going to attach to the machine. And this end is going to attach to the attachment of your choice. Make sure that your ends are lining up correctly until it clicks. Now you can see on the machine there's a large hole here and a small hole here. So you're going to want to fit that into place. To remove this head and switch it out with the other, there's a little plastic tab right here. I'm just going to try to release it and it just snapped off. And I'm going to put this one on instead. I think this little piece is broken. If you'll notice how this one is flat and this one is not, yeah, so this piece is pointless. To spray the water, we're going to squeeze this nozzle and it sprays out from sort of in the middle back here. So it looks like the accessory tool worked a lot better than the actual tank on this stain. Granted, this is a really old stain. I'm sure this is embedded deep, deep in the carpet. Let's try a fresh stain. Oops. Great juice. I really hope I didn't just ruin my carpet. All right, so I have tried out the Hoover Dual Spin Pet Carpet Cleaner on old stains and new stains, and I am ready to give you my final thoughts. So first of all, I wanted to let you know that my first go around, I was really struggling with putting this together. I wasn't able to get the water out of the sprayer for some reason, and I discovered that the issue was that I didn't have the wand fully inserted into the base. So fortunately, my husband came home and he figured out the problem and he fixed it for me. So if it's not working, that's one thing to check. However, I am very disappointed in a couple of things. For example, the instruction manual is so basic. It doesn't have a parts list. It doesn't tell me how to use any of those things. It doesn't tell me what each of them does. So I'm a little bit surprised that Hoover would do such a crappy job of filling out their instruction manual. Second, it did not do awesome on any of the old stains in my house. I mean, it probably cleaned it up just a little bit, but it definitely wasn't enough to impress me. The attachment seemed to work a lot better on those deeper stains, and even then, it still didn't lift everything out all the way. But I think for fresh stains, if you have an accident, if your pet has an accident, I definitely think it would be good to whip this out and get that taken care of right away. I do like that it's antimicrobial, it's easy to clean, and it's easy to fill. I mean, it's pretty much cut and dry, so it's, it does a good job. Um, it does not do as great of a job as hiring a carpet cleaner would do. What do you use to get your carpets clean? Leave me a comment and let me know. If you're interested in this product, I'll try to find a link. It's so new, I don't know if it's even out on the market yet. If you enjoyed this review and like to see more product reviews, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching.